Sorry I'm late. I didn't miss much, did I? Just started? Alright, that's good. Uh, what do you need me to do? Ah, I'm always pale. I don't really go outside much. I'm fine. I've just had a rough week. Can we just do this stupid lab? Hmm. You smell really good. Are you wearing perfume? No? Hmm. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Anxious. No, I'm not anxious. What do you think I am? Because I'm tapping on the table? Uh, it's just something I do. Anyway, can you be quiet so we can get this lab done? The sooner we finish, the sooner I don't have to hear your fake concern. <laughs> yeah, you should be sorry. Hand me the copper sulfate. You haven't dissolved it yet. That's the first step. Did you even read the instructions? Mm-hmm. Sure you did. I can tell by the way you've done everything but the first step so far. By the way, did you know that you needed to turn the Bunsen burner on? Because you haven't even done that. I thought you were supposed to be good at chemistry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was being mean. I just figured that we'd have almost been done by now. Well... You started 15 minutes before I got here. Were you just waiting for me or something? <laughs> and good job, idiot. Are you going to pick that up with your bare hands? Are you crazy? <sighs> Great. Go get a band-aid, idiot. <sighs> Stay still. Don't make me cover your mouth. I have you fully pinned. You are not going anywhere. I know why you smell so good now. And with all that cortisol and adrenaline in your blood right now, I just know that you are going to taste so damn good. I'll only take a little, so be a good snack, and stay still. Careful, Hunter. You lost a lot of blood. Standing up probably isn't the best idea right now. You're going to make a fool of yourself. And whose fault is the blood loss? Mine. If you hadn't insisted on picking up broken glass with your bare hands, I wouldn't have lost control. This is your fault, Hunter, not mine. Now you ask where you are. <laughs> Good job. That brain of yours is actually working now, isn't it? You're in my house. I don't know where you live, so I brought you here after I realized what I'd done. Why'd I do it? I'm a vampire, in case you haven't put that together. We drink blood. Are you shocked? I figured a hunter would be one of the first to figure out what I am. Yes, I know you're a hunter. It was obvious once I looked into your backpack. You have 12 steaks and a bottle of holy water. Oh, and the hunting permit in your wallet was a giveaway as well. Now that I think about it, you're not even a full hunter. You're just a trainee, aren't you?
You figured that out pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm newly turned. I was turned about a month ago. The jackass attacked me in an alley and left me for dead. Only, I didn't die like he thought I would. I woke up from the most excruciatingly painful moment in my life, and could only think about how damn hungry I was. Once my head cleared, I was standing over a body with blood dripping from my mouth. I vowed then to never feed again. But you saw how well that turned out. Yeah, well, as it turns out, starvation is utter hell for a vampire. We just feel emptier and emptier until we snap. Yes, like I did with you. If you hadn't cut yourself on the beaker, I probably would have jumped you the second your back was turned anyway. I'm sorry that I did that. I had no control over it. I was so hungry I couldn't think straight, and you were just right there. Alright, will you let me help you back up onto the bed? Or are you comfortable down there on the floor? There. Better? Good. I need your help with something. <sighs> what do you mean by absolutely not? Because I attacked you. On accident, Hunter. I'm not going to do it again, I swear. I need your help finding my sire. I'm sure you have access to records and connections all over this godforsaken city. I know you're just an apprentice, but you have to be able to access records without your teachers breathing down your neck 24-7. Come on, Hunter. Please. I've been trying to track them down, but I'm not making much progress on my own. They're the key to understanding what's happening to me and possibly finding a way to control this hunger without having to keep drinking blood. Maybe we can find a cure. I know it's a lot to ask, but I need your skills. I can offer you resources and information that could be useful for your training. It'll be a mutual benefit. You don't have to say yes, but it would be a great help if you did. If you don't want to, then you're free to go. I'm not going to keep you here against your will. But if you're interested in helping, I can provide you with everything I know and keep you safe-ish while we search. Uh, yeah, safe-ish. From other vampires or werewolves or witches, all of that supernatural type stuff. This isn't going to be a completely safe gig. I can't promise that you won't get hurt, but I won't let anything kill you either. Yes, I promise. On my life, Hunter. Uh, or unlife. Or whatever. Will you please just help me? Really? You'll actually help me? Alright. But I have to stop calling you Hunter. Why not? It's what you are. Uh, hunter in training takes too long to say. I'm not calling you Hit. No, absolutely not. And I saw that yawn. Let me get you some juice or something with lots of sugar, and then you are going back to bed. Yes, here. Where else? You're not in any condition to go anywhere. 
your eyes are still hella glazed over. Whatever, Hunter. Stay in bed.